Hello YouTube, it's yourself. Uh, so uh, you may remember my last video. Um, I can't actually remember when I posted it because I suck at that. Um, I will, I will get on to a regular schedule. I promise. At some point, it's just uh, I'm just kind of free willing it right now, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, so, uh, you may remember on my last video that I asked if, um, if anybody had any questions and I only actually got, I think, two out of that, um, but each one sort of, I think, it, are, are kind of big enough that they might want their, like, their own video each, um, because yeah they're big topics and also like I, I don't want to kind of skimp on things and kind of uh yeah uh so they were both from from the same person and um they know who they are so i will say i will wave at them but i'm not gonna yeah name drop because that's kind of weird um but the first one that i want to address um, is actually to do with sports. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of a topic I don't know very much about. And I may have some controversial opinions and you can by all means, like, absolutely correct me on anything that I get wrong because this is just opinion and I am but one human and uh, I am literally doing this without actually sort of having done much in the way of research because I don't really care too much about sports. I do care about equality though, so like, it, yeah. Um, so, my friend asked me about kind of uh, gender non-conforming people and, um, and sort of how, how they fit into sports um like in terms of you know like should we allow trans women to to compete as women um should we allow trans men to do the same and uh where do non-binary people fit and the answer to all of that is i genuinely have no clue um I can only really say what I would like, what I think should happen, and um, yeah, because I, I think the whole Sir Martina Navratilova kind of argument has brought up a, a few things for um, for people uh, in that I think she said something like um, that trans people shouldn't be in kind of mainstream sports. Uh, or if they are, I think that you, I think she said that they should you know, um, possibly compete under, like, the, um, the gender that they were assigned at birth, which is, n I, that's, n to me, that's not okay, um, and I think to pretty much everyone that's, the like, that cares about the trans community, I think that's not okay. Uh, I do have some issues, um, with any right okay this is where i'm going to stray into some really controversial territory and i'm a bit nervous about this so be kind either that or i'll just put up with your uh, con you know like uh, I'll, I'll listen to you basically is what i'm saying um so uh my my standpoint is basically that i think these things are going to be very very difficult to kind of integrate into mainstream sports um i don't think there's any th any way to do that kind of without upsetting someone or many people um i actually looked into doing like boxing um like doing the uh, white color boxing and they said that they needed to kind of uh, do blood tests to see whether or not I was sort of male enough or female enough and they would put me into the right camp depending 
Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, um, in all honesty. It felt really weird because uh, I, basically I, I messaged them and said, look, I'm really keen to do this, but this is my gender identity. This is my, uh, these are my pronouns. And also I'm on hormones. And they said, you, you know, they're, they're more than willing to accommodate anyone who's non-binary or whatever. But unfortunately, they would have to put me into the binary and that they, um, they would blood test and sort of do that because obviously it's a competition and yada yada and I was not comfortable with that not in the slightest I understand that um, because basically like the hormones I'm on it's a steroid it's going to give me an advantage if I end up sort of competing in the female sort of camp but equally uh if I am sort of put into, like, in a group with men, there is a possibility that I might actually be at a disadvantage um, just because, like, of my sort of hormonal... Yeah, like, my body's not used to its muscles and, like, the muscles are all kind of changing and different... Yeah, I just... I don't know. Like, I, I'm not a doctor... I, I do keep saying this in, in, in everything that I say, but like it just felt it felt odd uh, to be kind of to have to do that. And I think I think in all all like honesty, I think it would be kind of cool if we had our, our kind of like separate um, competitions, if you like, like, uh, Maybe there's not a big enough community, I don't know. But, you know, like the, the the Paralympics or the Special Olympics, why not also the trans? Why why not kind of bypass that issue um, and go straight into our own kind of thing? But then I don't know, are, are we... Does that then mean that we're sort of ghettoising ourselves further? Or... Um, yeah, it's there's a lot of questions, um, and it, I don't think there's a simple answer. Genuinely, like I said, and we'll keep saying over and over, it's not an easy thing to answer, uh, and that's why I kind of I I decided to give it its own video, um, because it is it is problematic. There are. There are physical advantages to kind of like being on hormones. There are physical disadvantages to also being on hormones. And um, yeah, I I just I, I query kind of a lot about it uh, in terms of sport because I actually enjoy playing sports, believe it or not. I enjoy doing rugby and well, used to enjoy doing rugby and uh, doing all sorts of things that are a bit kind of rough, um, funnily enough. Um, but I I now don't know, like if I was to join a team, like who would I, who would I join? How would I, how would I do this? Uh, maybe I need to start a, like a non-binary Scotland rugby team or something like that. <laughs> Oh, I've got so many things like th ideas like this. I, I don't even know how I would start. But anyway, because, uh, you know, if it doesn't exist, if you build it, it they will come. Uh, mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I, I just, I, I don't know where I fit. I don't know where anyone sort of who, who falls under the kind of trans or non-binary bracket kind of I don't know where anyone like that would fit in terms of sport it's what do you guys think comment do the thing of saying what you think down there because you know um, again I would love to see some conversation down there and see genuinely what, what you guys think about these things because <sighs> I'm a little lost actually in terms of answering my friend with this and um yeah i i kind of i want to see what you what you say 
I want to hear your answers. I want to, yeah, just kind of get involved with things. And, you know, uh, if you do comment, you always get, like, I try to at least always give you the little heart likey thing and, you know, respond um, as I see fit. Uh, and yeah, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there because I think that's probably enough crap talking <laughs> for now. Uh, the next question may be coming in a few days when I when I sort of feel like it. Um, and I hope that you are all well. You can actually see that my t TV is on in my glasses. I do apologize. Uh, okay, well, anyway, I hope you're all well and uh, be kind to each other. Love you. Mwah.